Ladies and gentlemen, it's once again that time, another episode of Brawl News, your favorite spot to get all the comings and goings here inside the Brawl Stars community that you might not know about, but might want to know about. We have a total of 14 new skins coming out tomorrow, along with a really exciting new challenge that we can get free rewards, along with a free Mega Brawl Box, two new gadgets being released today, as well as a seasonal update that's coming around the corner that you may have missed in the patch notes. So hope you're all pumped up. Let's get straight away into the info. Here we go. So of course, if you guys enjoy these episodes of Brawl News, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Become a part of the Ray Brawl Stars family. I always try my best to keep on top of the more significant things that I think you guys would want to know about here in the community if you aren't so crazy present inside of it, right? And hey, if you guys are already subscribed and you want to support me any further here in Brawl Stars, make sure to use code Ray in the Brawl Stars shop, one of the best ways to support a creator that you enjoy watching here in the community. But with my YouTuber things out of the way, getting straight away into the first bit of info here in today's video that I think you guys are going to want to know about. We're starting things off over here on the official Brawl Stars Twitter page, outlining a tweet that came out six hours ago. Here's what you're going to see tomorrow. A lot of things, if you ask me. The Latin Master League Challenge, skins for some of the greatest football slash soccer clubs in Latin America, and Dino Leon, which isn't related to football, but it's super cool still. <laughs> With some actual really hype artwork there, my goodness, is that beautiful. If you guys didn't know, purple is my favorite color ever and I also like teal because it goes really well with it. It's a beautiful image. <laughs> so if you guys didn't look over the patch notes super super closely you may have forgotten that this challenge was even coming around the corner and I think we can all agree that challenges are incredibly fun but as you can see here coming soon the Master League special challenge coming in 18 hours and 41 minutes at the point that I'm recording this video but taking a little bit of a closer look at it starting soon the special challenge is coming when 15 matches and a Mega Brawl box is yours. Team up with friends or look for a team feature to maximize the chances of winning. The challenge will only be active for 72 hours. Good luck and have fun. Guys, I don't think we can ever underwrite progression here in the game. Whenever there's a free Mega Brawl box on the line, it's something that we should all try to really go for. Mega Brawl box might seem a little bit on the smaller side of things, but you never know that free legendary brawler might be inside. <laughs> you gotta at least try, man. But next, transitioning to the patch notes here, accompanying this challenge, Challenge, we are getting a copious amount of skins, the bigger bulk of new skins coming out in this season seven update. So taking a closer look at these skins over here in dev build, all of which are gonna be costing a grand total of 49 gems. And I don't think the whole concept is to purchase all of the skins. Your favorite YouTubers might end up doing that, or at least a lot of them. Guys, we're getting a ton of skins for Colt and Dynamite. You know I'm gonna be on that. <laughs> but in reality, if you're a soccer slash football fan, it's meant to be able for you to support your favorite soccer or football ball team out there in the form of having a skin for a particular brawler here but as you can see here are the four for Colt. they're looking phenomenal if you ask me i think my favorite one is the green one just because of the stripes man next up we have shelly's three we have blue and gold a red jersey and a blue with white trim and you guys will have to forgive me i'm just going over what the skins look like i know the teams are in the top left hand corner but i'm going to be mispronouncing those names and come on let's be honest i'm approaching this how my younger self would do so way back in the day if I was playing like a soccer game or a sports game. Guys, you pick the team on how cool the jerseys look, right? <laughs> Next up, we have Dynamikes, which I am a huge, huge fan of. We have red with black stripes looking really, really cool there. Next, we have Dynamike, which I believe actually looks like a straight up coach. I know we have Coach Mike skins here in the game, but he has like a cool jacket on. He's kind of laid back. I like this one. And then finally, we have this one, which is very, very flashy looking really, really cool. But then we have have El Primo skins, which I gotta say are some of my favorite ones coming out of all of these. For some reason, they just hit different. <laughs> I love this one. We have red and white with a darker undertone for those ones. We have white, red, and blue for the next one, looking really, really good. And then finally, we have this one, which I think is my favorite color palette <laughs> of all the skins. I really like the dark blue and the white going together. I'd be using this one, that's for sure. So yeah, like I said before, this challenge will be available for all of us tomorrow, along with all the skins 
skins to purchase is what I believe. I don't know how cramped the shop is going to be if they are offering all of them or if they're going to be like on a time rotation. Only time will tell on that note. But speaking of skins, if 13 wasn't enough, we're also getting another one on top of that. The beautiful, beautiful Dino Leon skin will be available for purchase in 15 hours and 29 minutes. So make that 14 skins. Throw another one in the mix. It is looking phenomenal. My second favorite skin coming out of this update behind Beach Mortis. But transitioning into our next bit of fun here in today's video, as you all know, it is currently Thursday, which means we are getting two new gadgets being released today. I'm sure we all know who ended up winning the poll, but arriving here once again over on Twitter, we have four brawlers in this poll, but Spike as well as Edgar were the winners by a very, very close margin. As you can see in this poll, Ruffs and Edgar are tied. So at the point this poll concluded, we have to assume that Edgar was just a tiny bit ahead of Ruffs, but I'm very happy that the Spike one won. I love that gadget. It's so freaking funny. So of course, in Ray Brawl Stars fashion, we don't have these new gadgets in the coin daily deals shops. I feel like we never do, so we have to get it on the first day with the gems. And I think uh, a lot of people have been memeing on the price for gadgets when it comes to gems. That's literally all that is over on Reddit. And I gotta say, it's really, really funny. Make sure if you guys are cost efficient here in Brawl Stars, just wait for them to come out in your shop for coins, right? It's only a thousand coins, which might be a lot for some people out there. Don't get me wrong, but it's much more cost efficient if you ask me. But we got to get it first day, baby. But as we all know, Spikes is called Life Plant. Spike grows a large cactus with 3,500 health to give cover to friendlies. If destroyed, the cactus bursts and all nearby friendlies recover 1,000 health. A really funny gadget that I thought was just kind of a joke when it was conceptualized over on Reddit, but it turned into actually a pretty decent gadget, if you ask me. Cover, very important in Brawl Stars and getting that added health on top of it, I think is going to go a long way for a supportive mechanic for Spike. Pretty dang good. So guys, Spike now has two different ways to heal up. That's pretty dang good for how much damage output this guy has. So I like this gadget a lot. And then finally, we have Edgar's, which is called Hardcore. Edgar gets a shield that protects him for the next 2,000 damage. The shield gets weaker over time. So a more defensive gadget in comparison to his first gadget. Pretty dang good for a brawler like Edgar, like an assassination type brawler, being able to negate some of the damage damage when you're jumping in on someone might be pretty decent, though I've been getting a little bit of mixed messages about this gadget so far since it's been released, but we'll have to feel it out in the meta as we proceed further on. But with that out of the way, we really don't have a whole lot more to discuss here in today's video. One thing that I do want to point out that may have kind of gone over some people's heads, seeing that, you know, season seven was pretty dang huge, if you ask me, is the different seasonal events. As you guys can see in the patch notes, we have, of course, the Brawl Pass season seven the Jurassic Splash, but coming around here in the future, we have another seasonal event called Bad Randoms, Punk Music Event, with a main menu background change and a main menu music change. Guys, I don't know if you know this about your boy Ray by now, but I live for these smaller changes coming within like a update, a bigger update, right? It feels like a smaller update, it changes the pace of things, and I'm assuming this event is going to be coming around the corner when Wicked Stew along with Trash Poco are scheduled to be released, which the first one is Trash Poco go on August 18th with Wicked Stew coming out on August 19th, one day after that. So it's a little bit far off, but I think once that time does come around the corner, it'll be a nice mix up from the background and the vibe that we have with season seven, the Jurassic Splash. So look forward to that. And then the final thing that I wanted to bring up as I was grazing through these patch notes for this video is make sure to keep in mind that the fun new game modes that came out with the season seven update are limited time summer game mode, seeing that we got four brand new ones. I was assuming that it wasn't going to be sticking around forever, right? That's a lot of game modes to implement, but I'm assuming knowing Brawl Stars, if a game mode performs really, really well, I could see it being a permanent game mode in rotation. So I think that all comes down to how popular they were and how much people enjoyed it while it was out in rotation. So if you guys enjoy the game modes that are out when they are out, make sure to play the crap out of them because I think that's the most important metric with any of the new game modes. So make sure to keep that in mind as well. But yeah, everyone that's just about it here for today's video hopefully you guys all found it useful or enjoyable nonetheless there's always really awesome things happening inside of brawl stars that we can look forward to that's for dang sure but yeah everyone hope you all enjoyed it if you did make sure to slap a like on it i really appreciate that have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day keep having fun with brawl stars and we'll see you in the next video adios everybody